So it's the first nice day of spring in Minnesota. You've been locked up all winter and you and your roommate say, hey, let's do some mushrooms. That sounds like a good idea. It's the end of the week. We're done with work. We get off, we call our buddy upstairs who happens to sell mushrooms, and he says, sure, come on up and get some mushrooms. That sounds great. And how many mushrooms do we buy, you ask? We buy an ounce of mushrooms for the two of us. No, not for the next half a year or a year, but for that night. So we've got the great idea of ordering up some pizzas. Domino's sounds good, it's cheap, it's fast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split up this ounce of mushrooms on two pizzas. You start chowing them down, our game plan is to get outside and take a walk along this wonderful river walk through the night. There's not many people out there. It's pretty secluded. Just enjoy the nature. And we're sitting there chilling, having a good time. We throw on some Beatles. We're listening to music. I think we had some jazz going. We're kind of throwing it all around. Next thing you know, about 20 minutes in, I'm feeling pretty high. And if you've taken mushrooms before, you know 20 minutes is a little fast to feel really high. And by maybe 40 minutes in, I'm running rocketing out of the solar system and I start to literally feel like this God complex grow within me and suddenly I am on this plane of God and I am staring at my roommate and he's staring at me and I am just telling him the way of the universe, the way of God, the way of love for all people and I'm just vibrating and he's just eye to eye in it. And we are stuck in this trance where God is just coming through me. And it's like, and the way of everything is love and it's beauty and it's peace. And you can feel all the souls working at once and it's great and it's magical. We're tripping balls. Now keep in mind, I've just taken 15 grams. Your normal hero's dose is like five grams. And that's full visuals. That's dark night of the soul. That's feeling all of it, baby. What did I do? 15 grams. Who knows why? Who thought that was a good idea? So we're soaring and I'm in this God realm and I have my little pupil, my little proud cult member and it's just like, <sighs> so the radio's still going in the background. Suddenly, this is the end by the doors comes on. This is the end, da, 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 da. my only friend, the end. Dude, that's when everything goes south. I feel my body sink from heaven to <sighs> down dropping through the floor into fucking hell. And let me tell you, the next four hours were spent in a timeless mind trap hell where time did not exist. I'm sitting there on the couch. We were supposed to go out. Well, he got too sick to go out right away. I wonder why we had just taken an ounce of mushrooms and eaten it on a Domino's pizza, no less. That's a special on its own. He's disappeared at this point. I find later he's gone to the bathroom. He's throwing this shit up. But here I am on the couch ingesting 15 grams and the doors are playing and I have just sunk from meeting God into some kind of fucking hell. My arms are coming out, my legs and my hands are now my feet and I am I'm wearing a flannel. It's still chilly, it's spring. And it's like, it's rotating like it's, sands of time. It's like a desert scape. My flannel has become an endless wave of time. And here I am in it, stuck. And you're insane. And you know you're insane. And I'm trapped here for hours. And I know people will find me and I'll be insane. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm dating a new girl. She's out of town for the weekend. This is not someone who's totally cool with this. And she's going to come back and be like, oh, great. The guy I'm dating is now in a mental hospital. I mean, it's dark. It's hell. It's about as bad as a trip's ever been. No, it is way worse than my worst of my trips. And I have done a lot of mushrooms in my life, a lot of LSD. I've done pretty much everything. DMT, ayahuasca, all of it. And this is the worst. And I'm stuck here. Time is not moving. They're all deformed. 
I mean, it's crazy. Starting to like chew on my lips. It's like bad. You know, you've overdosed five grams hero journey, 15 grams. You've, you've overdosed. You've done too much and you're fucked. Okay. And so at this point, like it's getting raw and this is where the story is really dark for a moment. Thank God my roommate was here. I don't know for sure what would have happened, but I made my way to the window with the idea of getting out of this. It was that intense, that bad. It was an after school special for a minute. And I remember he, at some point, I hadn't even seen him in a while. Suddenly when I'm at the window, he's there. He pulls me back and I didn't know this, but yeah, he threw it all up. He's, he's coming down. He's feeling better. Now I'm on the couch. I'm starting to go sort of in and out of consciousness. He's playing guitar for me and I swear he's sort of keeping me with it. And suddenly I projectile vomit all over the fucking walls, all over everything. I mean, this way, that way, that wall, that way. If you could have hit a wall, I hit it. You know, that's what I had needed to do all along. You know, whether you've taken the mushrooms and you're feeling it hardcore early and it's getting out of control for you, throw them up. Even if it's late, throw them up. It will skip it out of your system and you will start to slowly come down. I mean, the quicker, the better to get them out. But at any point, it's good to get them out of your system. In the 50 plus times I've taken mushrooms, I almost always throw them up at about the 45 minutes to an hour mark because my stomach just doesn't really agree with having it in there. And then I can just enjoy the trip from there. You know, we couldn't get out of the apartment before but now I'm ready to go. I'm like, I need to get out to nature. I have to get out of here now. So I make my way out the hallway, go downstairs. I'm outside, we're at this younger person's complex. I light up a smoke, no one's out there. It's the middle of the night. Who should roll up but a group of, for lack of better words, I hope I'm not being disrespectful, goth kids. And they're chilling in the middle of the night. I'm high as a kite. I go over, have a smoke with them. What are they doing? They're going down the nature walk down by the river so i joined them stars were out it was beautiful these kids were great night's over i go back upstairs go to sleep and that was my 15 gram mega dose bad trip mushroom story where i got to uh, have god come through me for about an hour or so and then i got to sit in hell for about four or five hours then i ended the night with a pretty good romp out in nature. If you're having a bad trip, the number one thing you got to do, and I just didn't know it at this point in life, uh, is throw it up. And that goes for pretty much any drug that you've ingested. If it's becoming too much, I had, you know, I've had moments on uh, Molly, not Molly, uh, whatever the speed version of that is, where it was <laughs> went to the bathroom, threw it up, and immediately started to come back to normalcy so throw up that is the number one ticket if you're having a bad trip get it out of your system as fast as you can drink that water you know preferably you're going to look at set and setting obviously you want to be in nature especially on mushrooms and on psychedelics we were supposed to be in nature and we got trapped inside and that's about the worst thing you can do when you're on mushrooms. I mean, until you've been on mushrooms and you've looked at a tree and seen every pine needle vibrate with a million vibrancy of life, you know, then you get it. You want to be in the vibration in nature. So be with a guide if you can. Get out in nature. If it's getting too intense, force yourself to throw up and remember, breathe, calm down that breathing, calm down your mind ask for help for the fairies, the souls of the acid trip, of the mushroom trip, ask for their help, ask for their guidance to ease you along. I swear to God, it works. It really does.